Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, and uh, welcome back to my channel, and what we have here is the state of the current rack, uh, so this is the state of the current data center, uh, I have everything all nicely set up and everything, my cables are still a mess, but this my first data center setup, so I'm kind of learning as I go. So it's whatever. Uh, so right now, um, I'll start from the bottom of the rack. On this Dell Power Edge, oh, let me see this. Here. All right, let me get another light on the subject. Okay, so as you can see on this Dell Power Edge 710, it's not currently on. It has two 300 uh, gigabyte SAS drives, and I have a RAID controller, a H700 RAID controller on the way with the cabling, and um, I'm not running that until I get all that hardware. And basically, what I'm going to be doing is, like, right now, this is what I have stored, like, a lot of my information is to uh, Western Digital external drives. And it's running on Windows Server 2008 from this box here, as you can see. Um, this box is very old. It's the oldest box. My hopes is to retire it. And uh, I also got a Western uh, digital blue drive in there for storing data. And I'm running Windows Server 2008. But here's the thing. Um, I want to take the 710 and I want to replace this with the 710. But I got to figure out the most cost-effective way to do it. And... As it stands, I have two uh, SSDs I could put in there and possibly a third SSD just to run the operating system and just store data off of it. But that's something that I'm thinking about right now, but it's in, in the works. And I'll just step up to this Dell R Power Edge R410. And uh, what I have going on right now is uh, I have a little bit of Proxmox going on and I have some operating systems running on it uh, it's set up with uh, the the three drives that you see on this side are set up in a RAID 5 array and this one drive I'm not really using but it's set up as RAID 1 0 but I could store VMs on either or drive uh, so it's a powerful box now you would say and I was thinking of this. You would say, why didn't you use this for your storage? Because the the drives are big. They're two terabytes, and they're uh, they are the uh, the three and a half inch drives, and they. Um, but the I, I couldn't really do that because this machine was more powerful as far as RAM wise, and. Uh, and I wanted the room to be able to run many VMs. So I kind of want to go back to the 710 here and say, like, look, maybe I could get a couple of two terabyte drives to throw in there. But that's going to cost me, like, 400 bucks just to get the cheapest drives in there. Uh, so with that, we'll just move right along. Next up, uh, nothing fancy. I have the Super Micro running just the the firewall right now i'm running pf sense it's the pf sense box uh and then above that i have my kvm switch i can switch between uh i, I currently have uh it looks like six pcs connected to it and uh i can run through these different pcs just like that Let's see, nothing's only one. 
see what's on three. Nothing's going on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, but, you know, this is my monitor and my, uh, you know, uh, my keyboard. And, uh, and I'll come right along here. Uh, I was using this box as my Proxmox box previously before getting the Dell PowerEdge 410. And uh, I had a, I had a two terabyte, um, well, I, I, when I bought it, I, I left a two terabyte drive in there. It had Windows 10 Home on it. So I left it alone. I didn't delete it or nothing like that. I thought about deleting it and using it and everything like that. But as it turns out, um, I did the smart move and just left it alone and then came back to it when I needed it. And what I needed was a video editing machine. And it turns out that this machine is good for video editing with its onboard uh, equipment. I couldn't tell you the stats on it right away because I mean, I got so many computers and it's just like crazy. <laughs> And then uh, this is my main beast here. Uh, it's it's a Lenovo uh, Idea Center, <clears throat> and it's a uh, it's basically my multimedia PC. So as you can see, I got like a little bit of YouTube going on there. And then uh, let's get back to the nitty gritty. All right, so. Like, this mess of wires, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe you guys could suggest in the comments what I could do with it. I'm thinking I could probably get a patch panel going and then run some clean-looking lines. And, and and that's a project that I want to take on. But I'll get back here. The uh, Netgear uh, GS316 is kicking. Let's get this thing to focus on it. Yeah, the GS316 is like kicking it live and well. That's kind of like the heart of the network. How it works is I have everything coming in from, you know, I have like the uh, the line coming into this router, this uh, PFSense, and then I have it coming from the PFSense to uh, my uh, TP-Link Wi-Fi AC 1750 router and this is doing the DHCP for the switch and I just did it this way to keep it simple I'm not really gonna set up VLANs or anything like that right away but uh, that's the current state of the network uh, and uh, that's pretty much it I just want to say <laughs> Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or anything like that, just feel free to drop me a line, leave a comment, like the video, tell me what you think, and have a great day.